Wow. Yeah. Well, good morning and welcome back to the vlog. We have awoken here in Sapri to a beautiful sunny day. It's nine in the morning, it's already about 25 degrees. So today is gonna to be a hot one as we head uh, further south on our journey. This mountain that you can see behind me is where we'll be heading. The road actually out of town and along the coast is closed, uh, which means we're gonna to have to alter our route and head up the mountain the other way before then cutting down and rejoining the coast slightly further along. Hello. Hello. What a view. Beautiful. How are we feeling about today's? Uh, hopefully better than yesterday. <laughs> right. We just have a big dirty climb at the start really, don't we? Big dirty climb up there. And then hopefully, hopefully it'll get easier. Along the seafront mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. Around that corner and straight down. Should we crack on? I'm waiting for you, hon. <laughs> What have you found? I've got a pebble. <laughs> got what? Pebbles. That is not a pebble, that's a that's a rock. <laughs> I wanna take it. It's look at the line on it. It's like a it's got a racing stripe. It's like basically if you look at it like that, it looks like a velodrome. It's a bit heavy though. It is a bit heavy. So maybe just this one. That's beautiful. Thanks. I also like this one. Just on the seafront before today's ride, we're just going to go in, get some supplies ahead of today's big day out into the mountains. Quick pre bonk stop to get going. Stop. Quick pre, we've got a pre start bonk stop because it's day six. We've got a fat climb to go up, so. <laughs> so, what's that? Ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast is acceptable, right? Yes. Yeah, we had they had cookies on the other side. Cookie ice cream, yeah, I guess. So, carbs. Hey, once again, commute has sent us up the tiny, steep little bastard next to a main road. Uh, but today, today we have rebelled. <laughs> today we are rebelling and sticking to the big road, which is not that big, but it isn't a single track lane. So yes, it may well not be the most direct route but we'll probably have to walk up the other one. So in terms of time, probably more efficient. Look at the state of this road. That is the road that we would have come up. And uh, it looks a whole lot worse than Just bear in mind, it did. drops all the way down into the vertical. Well, save the cleats. We saved the cleats, eh? They're gone. They're already gone. I don't... Who does commute think I am? <laughs> Gravity resistant? Yeah. So, a beautiful little view over Satbury here. We're about halfway up this one, so hopefully, fingers crossed, two and a half thousand feet. Doesn't actually feel too bad when you're on a 5% incline. Better keep going. So, it may have taken us an hour to do 16k, but we're at the top. We're at the top. Yeah. Now we've got like an hour of descent. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> well, the funny and sad part about this is we're now in a little town called Lagunero, which is where we were supposed to be going to last night before we had to change our plans. Do you think we can message them now and say we're here? <laughs> Oh, still 100k to go on this one, but a whole lot of downhill and a whole lot of flat along the coast to come. Now? Yeah, I can see the sea. 
I'm gonna start smelling salty again, like you see. Salty. So it's now getting on a bit into the day. It's about 2 p.m. or just before. And I can't stop thinking about lunch. We're just going into Scalea now. So hopefully we can find something. Look at that. That's crazy. How cool is that? That's very cool. Shame we're not going through it. I mean, I am <laughs> happy because it's a bit hilly that way. <laughs> Let's get to the flat. Are you not hungry? Uh, no. no. We had ice cream for breakfast, so. Yeah, but ice cream is not really. When you spend six, six euros on a meal deal, you kind of expect it to be a mini burger, right? Yeah, not um, a full baguette with two beef burgers in it, <laughs> and chips, and chips on the side, <sighs> and a drink. I'm a over pasta at the moment. We've had our full, haven't we? We've had a lot of pasta. I could do a couple more pizzas, and I want some prosciutto. Mm. Most of the pizza restaurants aren't even open in the day. Though. Exactly, yeah. In the areas it's either, it's either this or a supermarket, eh? I'm over supermarket food. Oh, Me cool. too. If I look big now, guys, it's the food. <laughs> How far left to go, so Is it 53k? About 53k, yeah. I just say 53k for everything now. <laughs> We're over halfway. We're halfway. Exactly. Penultimate day. We've only got a short day tomorrow. 70k time. And we're almost there. That's why today feels a bit longer. I think, yeah. Because I tried to do it so we'd have an easy day tomorrow. So we can pack bikes and everything. Exactly. And there's a train station down there. Absolutely. It'll definitely go to where we're going as well. How tempted? Like, 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Could be an 8 because I just feel so full. Like honestly, I need to lie down, but we just don't have time. <laughs> We're just going for a little town called Damante. Um, really not far to go down. The profile looks not so bad. Um, a few little kickers, but nothing like what we've already conquered today. The biggest problem we currently face is the amount of food we just ate. We have no one to blame for that other than ourselves. Really beautiful coast here. There. Hey, look, look at the view. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just want to jump in it. Yeah, right. So we are now 25k away and we can see what we think is Paola just around the bay there in the distance. We've actually climbed up a couple of hundred meters of elevation, so we actually got a really nice view uh, right across the bay here. And if you look really closely into the distance, you can actually see all the way down to Sicily. I'm sunburned. Yeah, definitely. On your arms, tops of your arms. Well, that's what we came here for, wasn't it? Sunburn or tan? A bit of sunburn. Tans to tan. Yeah. It's going to be raining at home, so sunburn's better than no, isn't it? <laughs> I want to be peeling. Oh, no, we're not peeling in October. Oh, the pain is gone. <laughs> no, we're going downhill. Yeah. How excited are we for the downhill? Buzzing. Seven percent. Let's go. So over the last couple of days, Sav's brakes have been sticking a little bit, um, which has been extremely frustrating. Brakes when you're bike packing are very, 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 very important. So, so my fix was to use a little bit of GT85 while squeezing the hinge and getting some movement back into it. That seemed to do the trick. So not only has GT85 saved us on numerous occasions, but they're also sponsoring this series of content. So shout out to those guys. Really? Oh, evening sunlight.
like nothing's better. Right, so we just come off the main road and we are within touching distance of where we're staying tonight in Paola. I think we've both got to the point now where we're just pretty exhausted. We've ridden our bikes for almost five hours, quite a few days on the trot. And uh, on the most testing of conditions as well, those steep hills really do take it out of you. Our distance for today's ride was supposed to be 100k, but it looks like we're gonna be closer to 120 with about five hours in the saddle. So we finally arrived here at our accommodation here in Paola. I'm looking forward to getting some food on us and uh, putting our legs up and recovering. So in the UK we have Corona beer that everyone doesn't buy anymore because it's named Corona. And then Italy they have Corona toilet paper. Well, that makes sense because Corona is shite. How are you so stupid? <laughs> what do you mean it's shite? Toilet paper, shite. Oh, <laughs> now we're gonna go and have uh, some food. Ah, yeah. oh, it's really nice here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this town is pretty lively, eh? I know, older generation, isn't it? Going <laughs> off it. Come all the way to, to Italy, and there's an Irish bar behind you. Guinness. 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 Right, so as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Last day tomorrow, how sad is that? The trip's gone quickly, eh? Yes. But as usual guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao.